So I'm Jesse Davidge. Uh, I'm a director at Blade Studios here in Vancouver, Canada. We do like animation for uh, advertising agencies and music videos for bands, uh, mostly Canadian, um, such as like Dan Bank and uh, New Pornographers, Hey Rosetta, um, you know, Japanese Girls, John and Roy, guys like that. The project is about uh, my uncle and his uh, discovery of a stern wheeler that was lost for about 100 years uh, up in Lake LaBerge, uh, Yukon. And a stern wheeler, for those who don't know, or, uh, it's a, a large transport vessel that was used in the gold rush to uh, bring uh, people and um, supplies from uh, uh, one city to another in, during the gold rush days. So uh, this was one that was used and then was decommissioned and turned into just a standard uh, ferry. And then it sank during a storm back in like 1894 and uh, it was lost. They never found it. They didn't have any idea where it was. And um, back in 2008, my uncle actually, uh, through sonar, actually found the vessel and afterwards got uh, National Geographic and the International Nautical Association. Uh, they did a whole research project on it. CBC was doing a story on it. So it got a lot of press. And then, um, 2010, it became a Yukon historic site. It got commissioned as one. So my interest was basically following my uncle's kind of initial interest as well as his discovery of the boat um, uh, back in 2008. So I kind of want to follow him from where his first kind of had his ideas of where the boat was to when he actually found it. Uh, if you watch a lot of historical documentaries, the, the kind of gimme is that they'll do uh, reenactments and that they'll get actors dressed up like. George Washington or something and it just looks kind of silly because uh, you know it's not real and my idea was to do more of a uh, kind of bring the fantasy and whimsy back to it and actually uh, uh, animate certain sections where we'd go back in time to uh, the, the gold rush era so you'd actually see like um, Dawson City uh, during the gold rush days and it would just be like charcoal drawings like something you'd find uh, in someone's sketchbook or something like that and we would transition from images to like full animated scenes when they went to do the research uh, project where they actually like dived down and uh, started like uh, making notes on what they found and photographs uh, they found a vinyl record on a player so it means when the ship sank that this record was still was more likely either playing or had just been played uh, and it was still there that's the kind of uh, it was in such perfect condition that's what was how it was so uh, the song was called uh, my onlyest one and I don't even know if they had to know who sang it it was just like a, a kind of a track that you'd buy off of some guy on the side of the street Ben Barrett Forrest he's uh, uh, the son of one of the commissioners for the Yukon Historic Research Committee. So I ended up getting in touch with Ben, and he has this band called the Hinterlands. Um, and I asked him, like, would you be consider like uh, doing a new recording of the, of the song? And he gave me a, a instrumental version, a, a, even a singing one, which I didn't even ask for, but he, he uh, felt inclined. Only as one in all this world to me, you has my soul, my life, my all. Just as true as stars that shine Oh, tell me that you love me And say that you'll be mine And my hope is that if we get enough cash I can actually get to do additional music because there were other records found on the wreckage so the music would have a lot to do with uh, you know, what was there and also from a time period that like these are songs that don't really exist anymore so it's kind of unique to uh, Get to hear them again. The people we have involved, uh, there's myself, there's uh, my uh, animation producer John Busby, uh, who is another owner here at Blade Studios, and then our on the live action side we have uh, Sean Shaw, which is a live action documentary uh, director and producer here in Vancouver, and he's done uh, documentaries on the Great Depression in, in Vancouver, um, uh, stand-up comedy around the world, as well as uh, a documentary about the punk group uh, SNFU and kind of their rise and fall. Either we get the money to do it or we don't. I think it's good for things if you just, uh, you're going to do it no matter what. So that's kind of how we decided to go with Kickstarter. If we exceeded our goal, we were actually going to get extra songs by the Hinterlands. We were going to even dive down to the wreckage. Um, uh, but all that stuff takes, you know, much, a lot more money than that. 10,000. You know, it's a piece of 
history that could have been lost, but thankfully uh, it was found and they were able to, they were able to document it. I love you for the Lord, you is my sweet, you's my onlyest one in all this world to me, you has my soul, my life, my all, just as true as stars that shine, oh tell me that you love me, and say that you'll be mine, I said tell me that you love me, and say that you'll be mine. 